We're starting the vlog the best way I know how. Mmm. It's Brody Cuddles. Good morning. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. <laughs> Say good morning. Say it's time for me to wake up. I'm really sleepy. We're gonna go on a walk outside. He is so sleepy. Normally he would like shoot up and get all excited. Brody, do you wanna go on a walk? A walk? <sighs> yeah, a walk. Do you wanna go on a walk? Oh, I think that's a yes. He's probably like, no, not really. I'm kind of tired. Are you gonna go lay down? <laughs> the one dog in the whole world that's like, ah. You walk, I'll rest. He literally is like a cat, you guys. But good morning. We're gonna go on a walk. <laughs> but first, my athletic greens. I need some greens in my life right now. <laughs> literally, I chug it as fast as I can. It's so cold. <laughs> Someone tired from their walk <laughs> runs immediately to his bed under the desk. <laughs> Our morning walks are like my sacred time in the morning. Like, it's just the best start to my day. Sorry, I don't bring this big, chunky camera. Sometimes I bring my phone and I'll leave them on there, but yeah. I just like feel like it grounds me for the day. I'm outside. I'm not with my phone typically because I just want to like be really present and have that start to my day, you know? Having some mush and then I'm going to head to the gym. I just went back. I last spoke to you, or no, wait, I didn't really speak, but at the gym. <laughs> Today already feels so long, it's only 2.45. But I just left my laser appointment, and sorry, I have the heat blasting right now, if that's loud. I'm so cold. You guys don't remember. I get laser at Milan. Shout out Milan. This is just reminding me, you guys, I just gotta say, this vlog is not sponsored by Milan, but if you guys remember when I first was vlogging here, like, I paid for all my laser hair removal with my own money, but I was like, Milan, if you wanna work together, like, I'd love to promote you. I love you. I'm literally your biggest fan. I spent all my money here, and I literally, if you guys saw recently, got to do, like, a real TikTok Instagram stories with them, and I'm like, just put that energy into the universe because you never know. I'm wearing my set active set that you guys saw I got in a recent vlog, which I've been living in. Like, I hope none of you noticed how much I'm actually wearing it. I've been wearing it every day. It's just so cozy. Whenever I want to put on anything else, I'm like, I think I just want to wear this set. But that's another thing. I literally said it on my podcast. I was like, set, please work with me. I've like bought your sets for years. Like, I love them. I wish I could like promote for you, whatever. I'm not kidding. I think the day that podcast went up, I got a DM from them on Instagram. I was like, just focus your energy and speak things into existence. Like, put it out there in the universe. You never know what can happen because I feel like that's been happening a lot for me recently. And I'm like, wow, I fully manifested that. But the biggest part of it is that you have to believe that it can happen and that it can be true. Like, I would be like, yes, like, I'm gonna work with Milan. Like, I'm gonna work with Set Active. Like, I just fully believe that I could. And, like, I feel like I'm going to, you know, only like I did with Milan. Set Active is in the work. So, anyway, I'm in a whole tangent, but yeah. That was great. I actually, I was just telling them how I got a comment after I posted about Milan of a girl being like, oh my gosh, how are you doing that? Like, I think she said she had just done her fourth or fifth session and was like, I li it's like unbearable. I'm in so much pain. And I'm like, wait, what? I just did my fourth or fifth session and I'm chilling. Like I'm chatting the whole time. I don't know if I have a high pain tolerance. I'm sure it affects people differently. Maybe depending on all sorts of things. Like if you have more hair growth or if it's like darker or thicker, I don't know. Maybe I just have a high pain tolerance. I don't Also I was talking with the girl that at the front on the way out and I was telling her that and I she was saying too that it helps her talking with her like technician 
and maybe that's why it doesn't hurt me because I'm so distracted because we're literally just chatting for like an hour. But yeah, anyway, all that is to say, that's my laser appointment. Oh, if you guys saw, I took some clips on my phone. So yeah, you would have seen those. It's so expensive, but I'm so happy that I'm doing it because it just makes life so much easier and so convenient. And like I said, I guess I've had like maybe five sessions. I feel like my legs, maybe I did like three or four because I think I added those like after the fact like I didn't initially start the legs yeah so maybe just like four but even four sessions in um I already noticed such a difference like if I like shave my legs like barely any hair comes up on the razor there it just it's kind of it's funny if you guys have gotten laser then you know it kind of is like patchy how it grows back and then over time like it'll I'll be gone so yeah it's been great. I'm just like so happy that I am doing that. This is your sign. If you've thought about it, maybe try it out. Just start with like underarms or bikini, like something small. Like years ago when I did that, I just did underarms and bikini. Also, my appointments would be so quick because it's such like small areas of your body. But oh yeah, I'm freezing because maybe that's what I was trying to say. I feel like it was extra cold in there today. It literally felt like I was on like an op operating room table when it's like so cold, you know? And like doing my legs, I'm like, I literally have goosebumps. I'm like freezing. So I couldn't wait to get my car and like create the heat. But Hopefully my, I was drinking this on the way here. Hmm. Like it's still pretty cold because it was like cold in my car. Yeah. This is my new, uh, I want to say favorite Poppy, but like up there. My new, like my current fave, I would say Poppy. But like all time favorite. It's probably raspberry rose, the root beer, the cola. Yeah. Those are probably my top four faves. Doc Pop, cola, raspberry rose. Here. But like I like them all. I get the orange, I get the cherry lime, like literally all of them I've tried and they're all so good. It's like my fun little afternoon treat. I've been so into that, like a fun afternoon drink, whether it's like a coffee or a poppy or a seltzer. It's just like fun. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm chatting so much right now, I'm sorry, but I saw this TikTok the other day basically about how um, like signs of like ADHD, which I'm not trying to diagnose myself, but if you guys have followed through me a while, maybe you would agree with me by observing my behavior. But I think that I have that. And she was saying a lot of signs and symptoms that I personally deal with, like being really easily overwhelmed, having trouble like staying to routine and doing little things because she was saying, maybe this is just her in specific, so don't quote me if I'm wrong, but she was saying how you're always looking for like dopamine and like doing these like everyday little tasks of like staying on routine of like brushing your teeth, putting on your outfit, going to the gym, like that's not fun. And there's no like dopamine involved. And so being like spontaneous and like eating like a treat and always having like a treat or like a reward for something is like dopamine. And she was saying like that maybe if you have like ADHD, like your brain is wired that way. And I feel like that's literally me. Like I always need to like have a reward for something or like, like if I have to drive, have a drive to come to my appointment, I'm like, oh, like, well, I need to bring like a treat or a snack or a drink or, you know, does anyone else like relate to that? Anyway, I'm gonna drive home in Pet Brody. <laughs> Are you okay? Guys, I was like, I'm gonna go home and cuddle with Brody. Why are you panicking so much? You're just tired from running around. Are you okay? Come cuddle with me. No. <laughs> no, you need my love right now. I think he's okay. He's just sleepy now. Um, I thought I would just whip out the vlog quick and update you. Yeah, you look happy. You look okay. Because something kind of scary just happened. You okay, buddy? Mama loves you. <laughs> right when I got home, a bunch of the neighbor's dogs were all playing. And they were like, bring Brody out, bring Brody out. So I brought Brody out. And he was playing with them. And it was all good. Everything was good. But then, they were playing a bunch. And I feel like he just like literally wasn't looking. And was like looking at the dogs and playing with the dogs. And kind of like ran into a tree. I barely even saw by like the angle we were at. But it's like a skinny little tree. Until like right after I just heard him go. And he kind of like curled up into like a little ball on the ground. And I'm like oh my god did he just like hurt a leg or something. But there was like a little piece of golden fur. Like on the tree. Like he must have bodied this tree. And he kind of had like mulch like on his face. Like maybe his hit the I don't know but there's like obviously mulch like around the base of the tree but they're running around like a grassy area and I think there's still kind of like mulch on your face the poor thing and I just like ran over and held him but I think he's okay now he wasn't like limping or anything when he got up he just came right inside 
oh, how did I know? Literally when I was leaving laser, I'm like, I want to go cuddle with Brody. Literally just because he's been so sleepy because he was at daycare while we were in New York. And I was like, he's just going to need lots of cuddles and rest. But now you really need lots of cuddles. Do you feel okay, honey? He like ran into a tree, you guys. Oh, I wish I could talk to him. Ask him how he's doing. Mama's right here. Okay, this is where we'll be if you need us. Just like this. <laughs> oh, nothing is worse than if your dog is sick or hurt or anything. Is your paws okay? Legs, everything seems okay. It's probably a little shooken up. Uh, also, there are so many dogs playing as I'm just talking about my set that I love that I've been wearing every day And a lot of doggies were like jumping up on me <laughs> and My sweatshirt and sweatpants have like dirt all over them and I literally just washed this I guess that's what happens with a cream sweat set. Well, I'm just gonna cuddle with my little patient And we'll update you later <laughs> Okay Obviously, didn't update you later. I was just looking at the last clip. It's the next morning. I just went to Orange Theory. I'm literally fogging up the windows right now. I'm like so hot and sweaty. Something was up in that class. It's never that hot in there. It was so hot. I think it's so sunny today. The sun coming through the windows. Everyone was like ripping. Like they were like, wow, it's really toasty in here. It was a good one, but I... am exhausted. Is this camera all like foggy too? Probably. Man, being in New York not working out i just told my friend that i go with i'm like it's crazy how quickly you can fall out of the swing of things and like get out of shape of a workout like you take a week off and you're like whoo your legs just feel like lead weights trying to run again and stuff you know but i'm happy i went also stayed up way too late couldn't sleep so yeah it's one of those days i'm like i want brody to nap with me but it's a beautiful day we're probably gonna like walk in the park yeah okay I need to go home and shower and like make coffee. <laughs> Just showered, all clean, but I really wasn't in the mood for washing my hair. So I did it and I just like slicked it back. Um, it's still like a new style to me and feels kind of weird, especially when I don't have makeup on. Like I just did my skincare, some of the drunk elephant bronzing drops and the slip look is just something I have to get used to I guess also not good at it like I used like a couple products to just try to slick it like I got the wax that everyone uses IGK whatever but I just feel like I'm not good at it can someone tell me exactly the type of brush I'm supposed to use I feel like everyone's like you need like a certain bristle brush and I'm just using my wet brush trying to like press it down in my hands so I feel like I could use some work I need to like watch tutorials anyway this is the perfect time to shout out the sponsor of this video thank you so much bush bomb for working with me on this video perfect timing because I literally just use their products when I got out of the shower I've been using their sweet escape ingrown hair oil and exfoliating scrub pretty consistently now I actually found out about them on tiktok and I was immediately intrigued because Something that you may relate to, maybe you wouldn't know about me, is that I feel like one of my biggest insecurities for the past couple of years, literally when I started getting laser hair removal, was just ingrown hairs, really like razor burn and razor bumps was like my main thing. I just feel like on my bikini line, especially in the summer in a bikini, you could always see like red bumps. And aside from me just feeling like uncomfortable and kind of insecure about it, I was literally uncomfortable. Like it's like painful. You guys know how it can just be burning and red and irritated and I hated it. And so obviously I shaved forever up until the point of getting laser and laser is helping with that. But like I said yesterday, it grows back like patchy and you actually have to shave in between your laser treatments. Like they recommend for you to shave and exfoliate as much as you can because that will help um, the hair follicle like lose the hair. Does the hair follicle fall out with laser? I don't even know. But yeah, it's really important to shave and exfoliate between. So their exfoliating scrub is just really good for that. Looks like that. We love a good exfoliation moment. So I actually used this two days ago to prep for laser exfoliate and then shave. Obviously, we all know you want to exfoliate before you shave to get a really close shave. And their Sweet Escape collection, if you will, smells so good, you guys. It's literally like, here, we're going to smell it together right now. Yeah, it's like vanilla, citrus, like it's just really nice. And their oil is like my holy grail, okay? I actually feel like I noticed such a difference with this product already because if you are consistent with it for like three or four weeks, you will start noticing a difference, especially my bikini line, but I also do my underarms because I've always had irritation, redness, and really that's where I would get the ingrown hairs is my underarms and it would just be like 
so uncomfortable um but then razor burn is like my main concern on my bikini line and so i still deal with that especially between laser actually like right after laser which is why i use this this morning in my bikini line is i get just so much redness and irritation from the laser and so this helps a ton with this it's just really soothing it helps prevent ingrown hairs prevent razor burn and i feel like since it soothes the redness it just kind of like makes your skin tone even and it's just really nice and i feel like i need to be your guys big sister right now and help you out i wish someone would have told me about these products back when i was in high school just like so uncomfortable in my own skin in a bikini sometimes in the summer when i would deal with like bad ink around hairs razor burn yada yada so they are just an incredible brand for that couldn't recommend these products enough you will see a difference I love them and I will have a bush bomb link down below. You guys can shop the Sweet Escape oil and exfoliating scrub that I use. Link down below in the description. Wait, duh. I can't forget my discount code. If you guys use GG25, you'll get 25% off. GG25 for 25% off. And it just registered in my brain why this smells so good, what it smells like. It smells like a creamsicle, like orange creamsicle. Yeah, it's really great. Also, last thing, PS, you guys know I get laser, I shave in between all the laser appointments. I actually have to shave right before if I didn't say because you have to be like clean shaven when you go in. So I always will shave like the day before is what I did this time or the morning of. But also these are amazing if you are into waxing, sugaring, shaving, all the things. I feel like shaving is how you notice like the razor burn and bumps it the most, but obviously in between waxing and everything, preventing ingrown hairs, like you will not notice ingrown hairs if you're using these. So yeah, again, link down below, code GG25. And now, <laughs> look at what I'm looking at right now. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna say and now we're gonna go on a walk do you want to go on a walk in the park <laughs> you're looking a little sleepy. oh yeah you're looking sleepy but it's so nice today honey you want to go to the park oh <laughs> he's ready <laughs> because I didn't even bring my freaking camera to the park. Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> Got nothing for it, but we went to the park. It's so lovely outside. It literally was like the best little refresh in my day, like getting outside, being with my dog, sunshine, movement all in one is like mwah, chef's kisses. Like it just makes me excited to keep going with my day, gets rid of my like fatigue. I don't know, I'm just like feeling really good. On top of that, made a little coffee when I got home. Do you guys think I have enough ice? It's literally all ice, no coffee. <laughs> Mm. But it's so good. It's like all I've been making, you guys know. To a little brown sugar, a little cinnamon, cinnamon, espresso, oat milk. Like, literally the best thing on the planet. Okay, here's the proof that we went. Oh, I just ran to the wall. That we went. Yeah, okay, I'll let you be. You seem like you don't want to be disturbed. This is his favorite after walk, park around here, dog park, whatever it is. He loves to lay on the tile because it's really cool. And I'll let you be. Why don't I turn off the light, sir? You just relax, okay? You know you really like your coffee at home. And while you're away, you just keep thinking about it. Like the whole time we were in New York, obviously our coffees that we had there were so good. Like we tried so many different spots, but I kept being like, I'm so excited to get home to have this coffee order order coffee <laughs> recipe that I put together. I just make it so good now. Mm. Don't mind Brody chomping away over here. He's eating. But um, as you can see, while I was away, got a number of packages. Just started opening and was like, wait a minute. I should do a little unboxing for you guys. I feel like you love this. Whenever I'm like, uh, it's like boring or do you really care seeing like, especially when it's a ton of PR, I'm like, do you guys care? But I feel like you guys always say that you love the unboxing moment. So here we go. First off, Mind you, half the time I get PR, I literally don't know how I end up on this PR list. I, I feel like not worthy, especially I started getting YSL Beauty PR in the past couple months and I'm like, how did this happen? Why do you guys care about little old me? I'm like, what, are you serious? And it's just been amazing. I'm obsessed with their foundation right now. It's the foundation I've been using and I just love getting to try their stuff. Don't mind Brody. 
this i already know like whenever i see my friends post a pr package from them i'm like oh my gosh that must be the one that i just got so i like already know what's inside okay yeah mascaras this is like the best mascara it's my friend <laughs> my friend caitlin's favorite so it makes me think of her and i think one is brown and one is black like they're in their brown mascara air which i'm actually very excited to try since i have brown eyes and i feel like it'll just look a lot more like natural and like simple so i'm really excited for this also their packaging is always just incredible like look at this it literally is like a ysl bag like little container like i literally save these and put stuff in it because i think it's so cool so anyway love that for me yeah like half the time my management just must give my address to pr so then it literally is like christmas morning when something comes i'm like what even is this that's what happened with the nutella if you guys remember in a recent vlog i was like what the heck? This I know what it is because, can I show you guys this? Yeah, this will go up after Max's birthday, I believe. Basically, I got nothing. After you've been with someone for four years, it's like, what the heck do they even need anymore? We've gotten each other all the presents. We've done all the custom things. Like what, what, like what left is there to do? This is just like something, a little something, something. Why can't I open it? Stand by. <laughs> okay, here we go. Basically, I really hope it turned out good. This is custom. We always love getting each other custom stuff. I feel like that just shows like an extra level of effort and yeah. But basically, if you guys know Max, if you know anything about Max, you know he is obsessed with coffee. He could drink 10 gallons a day. And pretty much, okay, moment of truth, I got him a custom Yeti because yay, 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 yay. It turned out so good. Okay, pretty much. Wait, is this the size of the ones we have? I need to check. Yes, okay. Basically, I've had this one forever. He actually had a silver one, same exact one as me, but it had a fish on it, and then he lost it on a, one of his like away hockey games on a road trip. I think he lost it on the bus or something. He lost it. So mine is always missing, because he's always using mine. So then I was like, you know what? For his birthday, I'm gonna order his own. And then I'll have his own. And I got it customized with his name on it. I should have got like Brody's face on it or something. I don't know if I do that. But I just thought that was so fun. Yay. And he always, like, honestly, I don't know if they make bigger. I should have got an even bigger one for coffee. Like, sometimes he'll put coffee in his, what's this called? Stanley. And these are, like, 40 ounces. Like, these are even bigger than the 32 this. But I'm so excited. I hope he loves. And pretty much it's so that he doesn't have to steal mine anymore. <laughs> and we have, like, little ones. We have, like, this size. But he's always going for the big one. So I figured he needed it big yeti stands over here honestly we're big yeti stands stanley hydro flask like we love them all but i'm so excited i thought the custom was going to take like forever to come um but it was actually so quick it's like engraved with its name it's gonna be so great yay next up something i ordered recently it actually came so quick Everyone cross their fingers that this is what I'm hoping for. Long story short, I've been seeing so many girls on TikTok and Instagram this winter season. Okay, okay, I'm thinking maybe. With jackets just like this, like brown leather with the Sherpa. I think like there was one on, this is like zoom, zoomed in. I think like there was one on Free People that I really liked, but it was sold out. Pretty much, I just like kept looking all over the internet, found this one on Zara, and they only had a size large, but I was like, that's perfect, because I will want it to be like, kind of oversized, because I'd say normally I'd get like a smaller medium. Brown Sherpa, it's a little more cropped than I thought. Like I feel like I'd want it to be like longer over things. But let's give it a try. Also, I think this is a no, this isn't the first time I ordered Zara online, but I feel like I barely ever order online there because I feel like I want to like see it in person, you know? But also like leather jackets can get so expensive. They can be like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, you know? And I want to say this was like around a hundred. So I was like, okay. This is like a pretty specific kind of jacket. I feel like I don't need to get it like so expensive. Okay, okay. Yes, cute. Obviously not with this situation going on. See, this is the only thing like I wish it was longer so that I could wear it with longer things. But think about this with like high-waisted like black jeans, leggings, whatever. I just love this style. Like the leather with the Sherpa. Like cute, right? I feel like a, like a motorcycle biker. <laughs> but like cute. 
if you can picture the vibe. However, I've seen it on Instagram, it's really cute. This might even be the actual like exact same one that I saw. It was like literally all over my explore page. Like Instagram must have known that I've been looking at it. I'm actually very happy that I got a large too. Like it's just kind of like, like oversized looking and slouchy. And looks perfect like over sweatshirt. Well, probably a cropped one, but anyway, I can link this for you guys, the exact one, except, like I said, I think it was like only a few left in a large. Oh, it was 150. Okay, Zara, getting expensive. I feel like they're supposed to be more affordable, and then like sometimes coats and stuff will actually be so expensive. But yay, that's pretty much good. I actually really like that. What do you guys think? Okay, next up, this feels like a book. Looks like a book, is a book. But I don't know. What this is. Oh my gosh. I forgot that I ordered this. See, now I feel like I'm so far away. Let's zoom you back in a little. Okay, I literally forgot that I ordered this. Shout out Allison Kutch. Is that how you say your last name, Allison? I've been texting with her. Allison Kutch, Kutch, Kutch. Anyway, you guys know Allie. She's like big on TikTok and her husband plays football and whatever, or if you don't know. Yeah, that's her. And anyway, we're texting because I actually have been chatting with her about being on my podcast. So stay tuned, coming soon. That's gonna be so exciting. I just thought of her as like a potential guest and so we've been chatting. Anyway, we got on a whole other topic talking about losing loved ones. <laughs> it's getting deep all of a sudden. And basically she was like, you need to read this book. Messages from above from Monica the Medium. And it says what your loved ones in heaven want you to know. And she was just telling me all about it. Now she's seen signs from her grandma and stuff. And I was like, wait, I, I'm literally ordering that book like right this second. I just feel like this will give me so much like peace and make me feel like closure and closer to my dad. And just, I don't know. I'm just excited to see what she has to say. Like noticing little signs and everyday things. Like I'm sure there's way more than I even pick up on. So anyway, I can link this too. I haven't read it yet, but um, I'm actually very excited to read this. I feel like reading little bits and pieces here and there. Um, it's gonna like feel so good. So I'm so happy I ordered that. I literally forgot that I ordered it because right as I was texting her, I was like multitasking, ordering it at the same time. But anyway, that's gonna be so good. Okay, this one I just have to open first because this package looks like it's falling apart. What the heck is this from distribution? See, whenever it says things that are really big like that, I'm like, what is this? Wait a minute. Is this what I, yeah, what? Okay, I picked out some stuff from Blank NYC, if you guys know, a little bit ago, and they sent me a box of stuff, which is so sweet of them. And I also picked out this sweater, but it didn't come, so it must have shipped separate. I don't know, I just thought this was so like funky and fun and cool and like wintry and like black leggings and I don't know, it just gave me like snuggle, winter, snowing vibes. Snow day, baking cookies. I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. Okay, wow, thank you, blank NYC. I always had blank jeans growing up. I like their jackets, like their suede, like leather jackets. Yay, this is so fun. Wait, I actually have nothing like this, like a really nice, like heavy duty kind of printed sweater. It's giving um, grandma, cottage, what's that vibe? Cottage, cozy, I don't know. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm chatting way too much. I need to hurry this up. What is this? Oh, cuts! Our fave. You guys know. This is so exciting. Okay, a lot of this stuff is Max's, so it's probably boring. I don't know if you guys want to see. I'm sure you'll see it coming soon since I always love doing videos with them. Max can give us a try on haul. Ooh. A fresh black hoodie. I guess I am showing you. <laughs> um, actually, it's so funny. The other day, Mandy and Lucy, maybe someone else, all text me at the same time. People always will text me, like, girlfriends in my life will be like, wait, what do I get? What do I get my boyfriend for Valentine's Day, for the birthday, whatever? And I'm always like, literally cuts. Like, they need this style, short sleeve, this style, sweatshirt, this style, joggers. Like, they're going to love them. They're just so good. They're like the best quality, comfy, like all guys ever need them. A little black kind of sweat painty joggers to go with. They're just really like nice basics, really good quality. Obviously this isn't even sponsored by them or anything, just my true thoughts um, that all guys like them. Like they're just a little bit elevated, like they're really nice, nice quality, 
So I would say they're priced as such, but they're not expensive. But I wouldn't say they're like very far, you know, they're just like really, really good quality basics. His favorite tees, literally his favorite t-shirt ever is the black cuts tee. He actually has like, this is the elongated one. They have different styles like of length, if it's like curved hem at the bottom. He really likes the split hem where it's kind of like split on the side. Yeah, okay, I'm talking so much about this. Yeah, let's move on to me. That's the girls. I was so happy when they started making women's stuff. Yes, okay. They started making this ribbed, stretchy material top, like tank top, biker shorts and stuff. And I have the black one and I love it. Like the high neck, like open back. It's so like elegant. And um, I just got it in ivory. Oh, yeah. The best for last. Okay, literally the best puffer coats and vests ever. I got the black little puffer vest, if you guys can see. Ah, this is so cute in the stone, like taupe colored puffer vest as well. This is good for you guys to know. These I feel like run, not like small by any, uh, maybe a little small, or I just want them to be bigger to like put them over sweatshirts and stuff, so I actually got a large in the um, black vest. And this like taupey stone colored vest, but then the shirts, like that was a small, and the shirts I normally do a small, so it just kind of depends on how you want them to fit, you know? Sorry everyone, bear with me, last package. Hopefully this didn't take way too long. What is this? What? See, this is another thing. How did I get on Fenty's PR list? Like, literally, what? Team Fenty, get your game face on. This is so cute. It's like Super Bowl. Oh my gosh, there is so much in here. Thank you, Rihanna. Thank you for thinking of me. Do you think Rihanna knows who I am? Probably not. <laughs> oh, like a little makeup bag, makeup sponge. <gasps> oh, yes. This is my favorite highlighter. I literally have this in my makeup bag as we speak. I feel like this is like a different shade though. Their Kilowatt highlighter. Or maybe, the, is this the exact same one I have? It might be. Best highlighter ever. Some fun little stickers and stuff. Moisturizer. Oh, a little koozie, fun. Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. Is this like a powder foundation? I have some of their like glowy, lightweight foundations. I forget what they're called. But this is like a powder foundation. <gasps> that shade is like perfect for me too. How do they know? I'm so excited. Pro Filter Soft Matte Longer Foundation. They must have had my shade somehow because that is my shade. Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Ooh. Lip Luminizer Gloss Bomb. Okay, they also have the best lip glosses ever. Yeah, my favorite. Oh, I don't even have this color either. I have like a lighter pink. Okay, yay, unboxing done. Thanks for joining me. Now I gotta break down all my boxes. <laughs> it's way later. Just poured myself a little root beer poppy, if you guys saw. Yeah, so good, so, so good. The slicky hair was kind of a fail. I feel like it got really messy and didn't stay slicked so well. So again, all your wrecks are appreciated. I thought I would show you guys a little New York haul because my New York vlog was so long, but I don't think I specifically showed like everything I got, which isn't that much. So it's just like a little mini haul. You guys know I went to Jennifer Fisher for hoops. I had never been in there and I was like, wow, I came to the right place. I didn't realize just how many they had. They have so many hoops. And that's exactly what I was looking for, like nice new gold hoops. I feel like the ones I had, I've just had for years and I wanted some like fresh new ones and I had like so many to choose from. So here's the first pair I got that I've been wearing. These are like my new everyday pair. Zoom in, shall we? <laughs> yeah, just like gold little. I was deciding between these and a size up, but I like the littler ones. There you have it. Like I said, Jennifer Fisher. Bay Labo was the only other place, the two places that I got things from. So here we go. Here are the two other pairs of gold hoops that I got. I love them. I tried on so many in there. It was like 
just so fun getting to see them all, try on a bunch. I really liked these little braided ones, they're all around the same size. I noticed that I gravitate towards like a smaller hoop and it's funny because I would see these and be like oh they look so small and then I'd put bigger ones in my ears and be like wait 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 those are way too big so yeah I think I just gravitate towards like the smaller ones I like how those are kind of like a twisty like simple but a little something and then these I thought were really fun and like out there for me and I would like dress them up more these like look fancy to me for like uh, I don't know like a dinner like with a dress in the summer with my hair up or something. So yeah, that's that this I literally just opened now I forgot that they make each one like in front of you in person. So it's all like wrapped up I haven't even taken it out yet. I got the Suntal 33 which oh yay They put my name on it, which I've always Smelled on my friends and I have the Suntal 26 candle. That's like their iconic Candle from my Labo if you guys know and I was asking him in there I was like wait, what's the difference between the Suntal 33 and 26 because honestly they smell the same to me like if whenever I'm with anyone that's wearing Suntal 33 I'm always like are you wearing that Suntal perfume or uh, I think it's unisex cologne perfume from I guess you could say fragrance from my Labo and I was like yeah and I'm like because it literally smells exactly like my candle so that's why like, I think they're the same and he was telling me that the number like 33 is actually the number of notes like different notes in the fragrance so there's like 33 like notes ingredients i guess you could say in this one and only 26 in the candle isn't that so interesting so anyway this is like so specific smelling if you guys know the smell you know if you don't it's so strong it's so specific i was like honestly this is like really strong for me like when i'm ever with anyone that's wearing it i can smell them from around the corner down the street like it's literally that strong so I'm like maybe i'll just do like one little squirt of it because it can give me a headache sometimes if it's like too much but i really like it and i've always thought about it so that was just like a fun little thing new york city hall complete we really didn't find much and we're just doing a lot more like exploring, being really social, eating, drinking, and like less shopping. <laughs> I feel like this vlog is getting so long. I plan to just vlog through yesterday and then I kept it going through today. So I'll try to be brief here, but I was just thinking about how Oh, this is kind of like not fun to talk about, but I want to be honest with you guys and I want your advice Yeah, that scares me to open the doors of advice Because typically when you, you get advice that's like hard. It's like unsolicited, but I guess I'm asking Okay, pretty much how I've been feeling recently specifically about not YouTube like YouTube I feel like my motivation just kind of like ebbs and flows I'll feel really excited about something going on in my life really creative about something or I get really good feedback You guys are liking a certain thing so then I just like sharing that but I feel like YouTube is just always like my ride or die And I am always pretty good with it TikTok is like my new fun thing my podcast is like my baby but Instagram recently I gotta be honest I'm feeling like I'm in such a rut and <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm in a rut with Instagram. I feel like my motivation, creativity for pictures, like isn't there. And also, I gotta change something. Something in my process is like not working anymore because I'm not kidding. When I was looking at my New York photos and finally posting Instagrams, that's another thing. It's like I can't ever get pictures up until like way after the fact because it literally gives me so much like stress and anxiety now which is specifically due to I feel like I don't have a cohesive feed this is might be so dumb to you but like literally it's like a part of my job I feel like I don't really have a cohesive feed I, I don't know exactly how I want it to be and I feel like I'll see other girls I'm like oh I like theirs I like theirs oh I can tell like some of my friends literally just post the raw photos and I'm like how do you do that like they must be so good with like the lighting that it still looks cohesive and nice I'm like uh, I don't want to just do the raw photos some people just like turn that the exposure and make it like dark and moody some people have their very specific process of like Lightroom preset then after like then Tezza some people just do Lightroom some people just do Tezza and like do the or filters that they love and I feel like I'm trying everything and I know it sounds ridiculous but like literally for two hours I went through all my New York photos and was like trying different presets like I've always used presets for so long but I'm really trying to get away from Lightroom presets because it takes me at least an hour to like look at a photo and maybe that's just me I feel like I'm not 
efficient. I feel like I, and I know that about myself, like I'm trying to be more efficient because it makes it so I post on Instagram like so little and I want to connect with you guys and I take so many photos, but I want it to be cohesive and like really nice looking. And the reason it takes me so long is because presets that I've used for like so long, every photo, like the colors and lighting is different. And so I go through and I tweak every little thing and maybe that's like me being a perfectionist, but I change all the levels of the colors to try to make it match ones before. The highlights, the grain, the saturation, the exposure, like literally everything. And I keep like checking back and forth and like how it's gonna look. So the whole process takes me so long. So I'm like, I need something quicker and easier here. Like I always just like turn up the highlights and lower this and add a little bit of grain and like call it a day and post it. Cause also the sad part is what kills me is like, it takes me so long looking at all these photos. And I know that when people look at your Instagram post, it's typically for like a couple seconds. Maybe they'll scroll through, maybe they'll scroll right by. They look at it for literally one and a half seconds, maybe two, maybe three. So please like appreciate when I do end up posting on Instagram. I just know like hours go into it. And I need your guys' advice. How are you liking Instagram these days? How are you personally liking creating on Instagram? Especially if any of you are content creators. Help. Like what apps are your favorite? Like I don't I'm trying to get away also from the really heavily filtered edited looking Lightroom I never edit on like I never tweak anything I don't know how you'd call that like facetune like I don't do that I can't do anything like that I always say because you guys literally see me here on YouTube you meet me in person So I'm like if I was gonna like edit things you would see anyway, so Whatever, so I'm not on those apps. I guess in the past, I can't think of what it's called, but there's a different one that you could like just brighten up the whites and stuff like that. I feel like that's when like the white Instagram feed was very in and like everyone would have taken like all the whites in this frame and like boosted it up and it went so bright it would like hurt your eyes. But yeah, like what apps are you guys liking? I need to like figure something out. I also feel like I get mixed reviews. I guess mostly positive, so I need to just stick with that. Are you joining us and chewing on your bone? That is so nice of you. <laughs> um, but I struggle with and I'm always trying to find a balance between like social media and real life Especially like when I'm in New York trips for example when I have like so much going on and I want to be so present and Be with Max be with my friends. I'm meeting up with literally just be like in my own Gretchen personal life, you know, I am always gonna be taking content and I feel like that's something that I'm good with and I've had experience with like I'm always gonna be like taking out my camera and phone really quick take videos and photos and I can do that quickly But the sharing it in the moment is what I struggle with and I don't know how some other content creators post right away Maybe if you literally are taking it on the Instagram story and you're taking a photo and you just post it But I like to like look at it and where you're taking the photos in different lighting and what if I can't see it that well And what if I want to like up the exposure so you can see better or turn it down because it looks too bright so like I think I'm just too nitpicky also about Instagram stories, but I feel like I always end up being like yesterday and I'll sit down for like an hour and go through a recap of the day. And then I'm like, now is that not productive of my time? Because if I had posted throughout the day, then it wouldn't take me like a whole hour at the end of the day to like recap everything. But I feel like I have gotten feedback from you guys being like, honestly, it's kind of nice having like a recap. Sometimes it's overwhelming having so many stories during the day. Like they like just having them all at once later on that you can click through. And people are like, oh, this seems like a nice balance. Like you're still capturing content, but then feel like you can be in the moment. I'm not taking the time to like share in the moment so stories. I'm like, okay, like it's fine I'll post it later that day or the next day or whatever usually they're not really in the moment anymore Like sorry, that's just kind of like a boundary that's helped me with like feeling present and like a normal human being and stuff But the Instagram posts my god, I'm just like struggling like I Also feel like in the past I've been so excited to like go take photos and I always want my photo taken and I'm like I literally took like five photos of me in outfits in January. Like I barely took any and I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> like I still love cute outfits and clothes and taking photos and stuff, but I guess I just feel not inspired and I need your guys' advice. I need your tips on, I guess, content you're liking seeing on Instagram. Maybe it's maybe the issue is that everything is just turning onto video on there, which is so weird because to me that was like the whole purpose of TikTok. And now like reels are everything, but I feel like I guess I'll do reels and photos, but to me it's still like I wanna share photos. Do we still like like the outfit photos? What preset highlight filter? Like what kind of vibe should I be going for? Am I overthinking? I like miss back when Instagram was casual. I think I overthink it. Cause I think back of like, I would take like a pretty picture of, Brody, you literally just went pee. Of like, like a skyline or like me holding hands with Max and Brody and we're all on a walk. Like things that aren't just like a very, curated not curated very just like glam ready photo of like makeup or outfit you know and i don't know 
I'm just struggling with Instagram is what I'm trying to say. And I'm really, really struggling with the how I want to, not that they need to be edited, but I just, of course, like a cohesive feed. I would love like a minimal sort of look of like, oh yeah, Gretchen's photos are always a little bit like this, or always a little like, pinkish looking or brownish looking like I looked at so many different girls feeds and I'm like oh like hers photos are always really warm hers are really cool hers are dark hers are light her, you know what I mean you guys get hers are always like blurry or like a grain like stuff like that so I just I don't know I'm really struggling is all I'm trying to say and right now mine isn't cohesive because I keep trying different things and I try so hard and then I feel like it doesn't look like there's any edit on it and it probably just looks so minimal and I'm like this literally took me two hours anyway these are the thoughts in my brain. I'm like really struggling with that. Also, I've just always struggled with time management. So trying to stick to my goal of TikTok every day, I have been falling off of, but don't worry, I'll catch up. It's just been very challenging. I'm a TikTok every day. I'm basically filming YouTube videos every single day. And then I'm like, so where am I supposed to find time to taking Instagram photos that can be quick, but like curating, trying to plan my feed, the filters and stuff. I'm just like, how is there enough hours in, in the day? And then don't even get me started with like, I feel like I always want a clean space and clean environment and I want to clean my apartment all day and I want to plan and cook and eat all my healthy meals and also work out and take care of myself and have a social life and walk Brody. It, it, like, does anyone else? I just, I don't know. I need to just, it's not that deep and I feel like if I feel inspired to like take a photo, post a photo, I need to just do it and not think about it that much. I'm answering my own questions therapy with me but I'm just feeling in a rut with Instagram is all I have to say so any of your words would be lovely okay it's like I'm drinking root beer this is what happens when <laughs> I'm here alone <laughs> in my thoughts I'm like I'm in a rut Brody no you just went tinkle do you have to go number two <laughs> okay that's enough out of me I'm gonna end up this walk here I love you guys so much are you jumping up on the window oh maybe he sees a bunny he's been seeing bunnies but I get scared here at night when he's like Barking at the door or something. I'm like, I'm just gonna go hide. Okay, no, I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. <laughs> Love you. Thanks for watching this vlog. I'll see you in my next one.